Welcome, welcome to the finale of the I'm Broke Challenge. This is ADG Reviews, and I'm here to <laughs> to see this battle. This is the finale. Ladies and gentlemen, the I'm Broke Challenge is over. I'm Broke Challenge 2018 ended today. <clears throat> At the time you're watching this video. And you might be asking, why the hell am I saying a 2018 will I explain it later because we have a freaking early start with Lord Levin taking his Vardori Atai very early in the match to harass Kaiser who has who was very convincing on his two victories two victories yeah two victories now his light cavalry is being harassed is that some Hinetes yeah it's some Hinetes uh, he also has a unit of General's Bodyguard and some Conquistadores. Because you have to have Conquistadores on your army. And nah, there we go. We have some dismounted Conquistadores acting as the, ba as the backbone of the army. And some Portuguese Knights. Uh, dismounted Portuguese Knights, I should say. We have some uh, Pavis Crossbowmen. And some pikemen uh, pike militia actually they actually he actually managed to pull off a very good army despite the lo uh, low cost of the army which i'm impressed i'm impressed there's another unit of pike militia so he has spent the money well but portugal has a good money Low even has some Vardoriatai and he has some peasants in front of his archers, his low archers, he's trying to avoid them. And he has some light uh, 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 spearmen, I, could, I couldn't speak for that moment. And he has some Laticon, some dreaded Laticon. I think he used, he used uh, this same army against me, uh, which I lost, mind if I say that. Yeah, it's a, a big sad moment. But anyways, uh, why is this uh, Unbroke Challenge 2018? Does it mean that I will be doing another one on uh, 20, 2019? Well, obviously, yes, which if compared to what I've seen, I really enjoyed making this tournament and playing with other people is very fun. So I, I will maybe probably do uh, Unbroke Challenge season two very it's very probable but uh, i wouldn't put it uh, like that early on the year but yeah it it could it's on my bucket list of things i would do so right now the start of this match is uh one of harassment <laughs> oh it's bill cops be directing this battle <laughs> anyway uh i think he was filed for harassment or some stuff i don't know I'm just repeating a joke. Anyway, uh, Lord Levin is completely harassing his army with the Vardoriatai. And these guys are very good. For military cavalry, I mean, uh, missile cavalry, they are really, really good. Which actually makes me think we could have a special place for the best uh, missile cavalry on the game. And we... It would be nice. It would be very nice to see that. I would really like to see that. Uh, let me know down if you would like to see that. I would have to just find a perfect title for it. Oh, my arm. I just... Ouch, my arm. Okay, Levan is moving his army. Slowly. This is a very intense moment. A very tense moment. Battle lines are being drawn, and the pikemen are doing in the front lines uh, the backbones of the army. They are taking the fire of the Vardoriatai. Which, come to think of it, yeah, we. Oh, wait, he has some more peasants. More peasants? Jesus. How much money? <laughs> yeah, I think I spent too much money on my. Uh, on my. Uh, On my uh, cavalry, the one I use, uh, Stradiots, 
Yeah, they're a bit expensive. So yeah, I shouldn't have uh, invested too much money against them. So right now, the, our focus point is on this battle. A harassment battle. The Hinetes, Hinetes are firing off against them. Oh my god. Javelins are very underrated. I think in in games javelins are very underrated because of their short range, but they can be a massive pain in the backside when they are thrown at your heavy units and they are in quantity. Good good units of uh, javelin men can do very much damage to you. I also learned, learned that while playing uh, as as the as Isengard on mid, on third age total war re, uh, divide and conquer. I was playing as as uh, Isengard and I was uh, besieging a rebel village, and I was in a moment where I was in the front lines fighting with uh, the rebels, and uh, they had a unit behind them that started sh uh, it shot some javelins at me and that killed like 20 urukai not orcs urukai they killed like 20 urukai raiders just by one volley those guys are op okay oh there's also peasant crossbowmen i oh my god i didn't even see those i didn't even see those right the cavalry is making their rounds Oh boy, this is intense. This is really, really intense. Oh, it's a battle right here. We have a battle right here on our... My god, the suffice look so cool. I mean, uh, not the suffice, the Vardoriatai. They look really, really cool. It's really hard sometimes. To... Oh my god, that's a good volley. Look at that volley. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Hey, 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 that's it. Come on. Fight them off. Oh, we have some enemies on the front. On the flanks. More Vardoriatai coming in. Oh, such a nice charge. And he won't commit his... I see... Uh, Kaiser will not commit his conquistadores in general to follow this uh, very quick unit. Instead, I think he will do this. He will try to use the superiority of cavalry uh, quality to basically uh, try to overwhelm the enemy general or something like that. To try to take out the general quickly just so he can uh, win. I mean, this battle is very intense. Hmm. Hmm. I really wouldn't know what to say. This seems like it could be a... This is a close battle. Look at that. Look at the, all those dead. Uh, they are concentrating their fire. Those are peasant archers, right? Where, where are the peasant archers? Oh, there they are. Yeah, peasant archers. Even though they're peasant archers, they are very good at dispatching other uh, units, which is incredible. Because normally, these guys are not good. The conquistadores fighting off some of those peasants, which won't be the, um, a problem for them. We have the uh, the Portuguese charging into the flanks of the enemy. No, they're trying to go around it. They know they're spearmen. They won't attack spearmen like that. I think he will do what I said. He will go for the general. That's right. Oh my god, that's a beautiful charge. Although I wouldn't be distracted too much. He has good infantry uh, spearmen behind him. So I, he probably is going to shoot them. Even now has to face off against the elite 
infantry that uh, the Portuguese have brought because all of those guys are a very good quality unit. There's already a unit of peasants leaving the battlefield. Yeah, they're broken. They're breaking through their lines quite easily. If, I, if we can get closer, let me get closer here. The line isn't that well defended. It's been destroyed and demolished by the same Portuguese knights and conquistadores and even the peasant archers and the peasants. The combination of uh, low quality units is incredible. Lord, preserve us. We have lost half of our men. Half of the I can't remember. I think it's from the Byzantine Empire. Half of the Byzantine Empire soldiers have been lost, but we still have this unit here. If they don't get rid of it, oh my god, a back charge from the Conquistadores into the dismounted Latin con this battle, my goodness. It's super intense, a very intense battle. Look at that. Even, oh, the general, the general, is that your general fleeing or is, no, the Byzantine spearmen. They are leaving the battlefield. They are quitting. They are like, uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. I will not risk my life for that. This is incredible. And this unit right here. If I would have to say there's an MVP of the... Of the uh, this battle. It's clearly those Vardoriata. Look at what they have done. They have just ran into the backs of the conquistadores and the peasants and oh my god and just Only got slaughtered. Enemy force and now half of the Portuguese are left. The Vardoriata are gonna continue with those charges to try and soften up the enemy I just so they the can just so they can defeat, defeat the Portuguese. Certain. This battle is super intense. The, the peasants here these guys are winning their pay because they have been shooting and shooting and shooting and have not slept down. Even there's still peasants in the game. They're like, nope, we won't surrender yet. There's uh, those are the pikemen. Pikemen in this game are not that good. Uh, they're better off if you put them at choke points to uh, to uh, get them out of uh, to get yourself. A bonus against cavalry. If your if your city gets invaded by uh, the Mongols or the Timurids, have at least a good amount of spearmen or pikemen at your cities, just so uh, just so they can. How do I say it? Uh, so you can repel them. Yes. If I talk like this, I sound like Bane. But that is how you probably sound if you had that type of helmet on top of you. Anyway, let's get back into the nonsense. Well, from the nonsense. We have those Latin con uh, doing a loon tunes and following these guys. The Conquistadores, man. Oh my god, this has been a bloodbath. The general and another soldier are left. And the Conquistadores from the Portuguese are the only ones left. And right now the Portuguese, they were very dominating at the start, but now they are, they are being destroyed. And there's more, uh, there's more possibility of the enemy winning. Now, I would have to say that this it's a crushing uh, it's a very strong battle because defeat seems almost it's certain. very uh, difficult to call up because it's so back and forth back and forth back and forth it's really great that it's such a great battle I mean I'm really enjoying watching this because it's really I have to <laughs> concentrate to uh, oh my god the general got defeated his units. Oh, general versus general. Ah, oh, yeah. Upon the battlefield. There. And with that, the moral of uh, the morale of the Portuguese 
uh, is destroyed because without a general, their general obviously gave them hope and and made them believe that they could defeat uh, the enemy. But now, Lord, preserve us. So, congratulations, Lord Levan, for being the winner of the I'm Broke Challenge. This challenge, I thoroughly enjoyed playing, and it was some it was sometimes difficult for uh, Levan and I to play because. Yeah, my battle with Levan, it took us like four days or five to be able to play because I had school and he is in a different time zone because he's from Europe. So congratulations Lord Levan, saying hello to the Republic of Georgia and thank you all who participated on the tournament. I really want to say very much uh, thank you to Lance, uh, to Lord Levin, to Legend of Total War, I mean your Total War Master, uh, to our buddy Kaiser and Keenex, everybody who participated, the Red Celt. I just want to say thank you all for participating with me and making this possible. I wouldn't uh, have been able to do it without you guys. So. I will, try, I will try to remember and I will put the links of each and every one of them who has a channel. I believe Keenex, Levin, and, uh, and your Total War Master have channels. Uh, you can follow them there as well. Make sure to subscribe to them. Watch uh, their videos. So, uh, But for me, thank you so much guys for coming to the, uh, to the tournament. I had a lot of fun. And I will see you later on another tournament, another campaign, or basically just catch me anywhere on my channel. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you later. And this has been ADG. Peace.